your sign is Sagittarius. My name is Kim and I'm going to do your reading for the next 48 hours. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for your likes, shares, comments, and subscribes. I appreciate all of you very much and we're going to get started. Let's start on a general Celtic cross for you. Um, if you'd like a private reading, look in the description box. They're done on for donations right now. So, Sagittarius, let's get started. Let's find out what the issue is for you. Calling in your angel, spirit guides, higher self, higher power. Let's get going for Sagittarius. What's the issue? Issue is Queen of Swords in reverse. Maybe we're not, maybe we don't have quite our eye on the target. Or this might be the energy of the people pleaser that it does not, that it's not beneficial for somebody to say yes all the time and then lose track and focus of what they need to do or get taken, to get taken care of. This could be an air sign too for you. What's the challenge? Challenge is that something just hasn't moved on its way yet. Something hasn't left the situation and it's kind of frustrating. That is the challenge. Let's look at the root. Six of Wands. Maybe you're feeling really successful or um, getting in lots of merit and, and, you know, best wishes from everyone around you because you have, a, like, a job well done. It is 6-6. Six, six. That is a good number in the angel numbers. All right. Some kind of victory that was had maybe by peers, other peers of yours, or, or it could even be, like, a big family. So let's look um, at the past position. King of Cups in the past, or, uh, yeah, in the past, in reverse. <laughs> so in the past, Sagittarius, we may have had times where we were just like, needing to get a hold of our emotions. I'm going to say that they might have been really up and down. And um, and honestly, that, that was probably a hard thing more than anything was dealing with the emotions that comes with um, these circumstances or experiences. So we, we acknowledge though, at least that there were things we needed to work on. Let's look in the present position. Sagittarius. Oh, we have, wow, you've got a lot of good cards. We have the judgment card. So the judgment card is, you know, maybe you need to forgive yourself or others. That's usually why people are people pleasers, is because they haven't really done stuff to help please themselves first. Forgiving other people so that you can get things like dis-ease out of your body. Okay, let's look at the future position. Still has you being a little timid, Sagittarius. I don't really know why that's not exactly like yourself. Um, Queen of Wands, and it's in the reverse, so... There may be something that you end up just not doing because you don't want to take a risk. Or maybe you think something is too much of a risk to even do. So we have you kind of, like I said, not feeling like yourself, a little bit out of your element. Let's see how you are feeling. Interesting reading. Okay, you are feeling like you're about to either receive or give some great communication. Maybe you're expecting some really good news here. Yeah, maybe you're expecting some really good news to come in. If not, this is really good news coming in to you. What is the external circumstances? One, the mage or the magician. This is you working on yourself and your situation, knowing that you can change it. That right now the energy is that you have everything at your disposal that you really need to make it to achieve what you're wanting to achieve. So um, green light to go do that. All right, what are your hopes and fears? Hopes and fears is that divine timing is at play and that that might be the reason why some stuff hasn't moved forward enough. Okay, outcome. And hoping that your um, angels and spirit guides are going to help you. Outcome, we have four in the reverse, which is a good card to get. Because this is a card of really not being engaged. Not being your own fiery self. But when it's reversed, it's the card of being engaged. Being happy and content um, with what you have and not getting bored of it yet. <laughs> so it might be a Sagittarius um, too. This is representing Sagittarius. Uh, you might have a water sign. 
There's you're in here twice. I didn't even notice that until now. Air sign, fire sign, water sign. Everything but an earth sign, right? Yeah. All right, let's look at let's look at an oracle, the energy oracles. So I'll get, uh, make a strategy, get a strategy. I saw that on the bottom on the split. Some financial constraints maybe right at this moment. It says to ask spirit for assistance. Caring connections. Anxiety. We all have anxiety, I think. The world card, that could represent Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, or Leo. The world card is, you know, some brand new chapter starting. And I think because I kind of unconsciously put it right here by the outcome that this is part of your outcome. Oof. That's what I think. There we have a pentacle. Now we have all four signs. King of Pentacles here. Coming out with the temperance, divine timing. There's certainly something in divine timing in the works. And the person or energy it's bringing in is one of stability, security, and good money supply. The sun, and I'm sorry, I don't do reverse with these. The sun is bringing energy, magic, healing. We have the sun right below the temperance. Very, very divinely guided cards, really spiritual cards. Helping you, assisting you, you, may even notice like more energy, having more energy because of this. And then the happy family card, wow. So I think that's all in your outcome. That's just wonderful. On the bottom, we have blossoming abundance. Even better, even better. Let's get some tea leaves for you. We're going to wrap this reading up, Sagittarius. It looks really great. You've gotten one of the best ones. They've been a little bit dreary. Um, here lately for most people. I don't know why. We'll do four for stability. There we go. So we have bull. Do not back down from the opposition. Show strength and fortitude. Maybe a Taurus too. Casket. Something something or someone is going out of your life. It just hasn't, hasn't happened yet with that six of swords. Candle. You will be shown the way. And archway, new opportunities, possibilities, and paths opening up. It's with the world card. It looks good, Sagittarius. Thank you so much. Sending you love and light. Bye.